You're looking at a live view of Cygnus from the International Space Station. This morning, Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency astronaut Soichi Noguchi will be the prime robotics controller during today's capture of Cygnus. He'll be poised in the cupola of the space station to capture Cygnus with the Canada Arm 2. And following capture, he'll hand over controls to teams on the ground. Noguchi will be backed up by NASA astronaut Mike Hopkins. Each Cygnus spacecraft is named after an individual who has made significant contributions to human spaceflight. Today's vehicle is named after Katherine Johnson, whose mathematic computing contributed to calculations for the flight path of America's first crewed space missions and moon landings. Katherine Johnson died on February 24, 2020 at the age of 101. Following a career of breaking barriers and helping others reach space, Katherine Johnson's namesake now orbiting the Earth as, it's, as it makes its way to the International Space Station. It's taken Cygnus about two days to get to the point you see it at today. Cygnus launched at 11.36 a.m. Central Time, 12.36 a.m. Eastern Time from NASA Wallops, carrying over four tons of cargo aboard it. You can see Cygnus here as it lifted off on an Antares rocket from Wallops, Virginia. Following a first stage burn of approximately 3 minutes and 18 seconds, Cygnus was switched over to its stage 2 motor, Cygnus eventually making an 8 minute 49 second journey into orbit. Solar arrays then unfurled and began collecting power, which took about 30 minutes. And Cygnus has been continuing its journey to the space station ever since. Everything still moving nominally as we look for capture today at 3.40 a.m. Central Time. Good core pressures. Engines remain steady. Attitude nominal. Max Q.
Cygnus is packed with over four tons of cargo as it approaches the International Space Station this morning. Some of that cargo includes crew supplies, science investigations, spacewalk equipment, vehicle hardware, computer resources, and Russian hardware. You can see here a breakdown of the pounds of cargo aboard Cygnus today. There is 2,054 pounds of crew supplies, 2,484 pounds of science investigations, 52 pounds of spacewalking equipment, 3,115 pounds of vehicle hardware, 2 pounds of computer resources, and 52 pounds of Russian hardware. Also aboard Cygnus is some fresh food for the crew members, including cherry tomatoes, lemons, onions, apples, navel oranges, and garlic. We're just about 10 minutes away from the point. Cygnus will reach the 250 meter hold point. The station is currently flying 266 statute miles as it approaches the western coast of Australia. We're now about eight minutes away from the point. Cygnus will reach the 250 meter hold point. If you have questions for us this morning, you can submit them using the hashtag AskNASA and we'll be answering them live on air.
Cygnus is ca carrying over four tons of cargo today, some of which is science experiments. One of those science experiments is using worms to learn about muscle loss. These tiny worms could help us determine the cause of muscle weakening that astronauts experience in microgravity. Researchers with the Micro 16 study are going to test whether decreased expression of muscle proteins is associated with this decreased strength. Results of this exper experiment may provide a better understanding of the links between gene expression and muscle strength, support the development of countermeasures to help maintain crew member health, and support new therapies to combat the effects of age-related muscle loss on Earth. We're now five minutes out from Cygnus reaching the 250 meter hold point. Once it reaches this hold point, it will complete checks with the ground before eventually moving to the 200 meter keep out sphere before continuing its journey to the International Space Station. Teams on the ground are expecting Cygnus to arrive at the 250 meter hold point in about two minutes. Anton, I have a couple of questions. So, do we understand correctly that we have to activate a GoPro?
Now just about one minute until Cygnus reaches the 250 meter hold point. The station is currently flying 271 statute miles above the Earth. It's flying off the west coast of Australia, about to cross into the Tasman Sea. As you can see from this view here, we will soon be passing through the Terminator line, which is the point at which there is a orbital nightfall. The space station orbits the Earth every 90 minutes, meaning it sees a sunset and a sunrise every 45 minutes. Cygnus has now reached the 250 meter hold point. Station Eastern on two for Cygnus. Yeah, go for Cygnus. All right, Opera, go ahead and confirm the Cygnus 250 meter hold for step two and one decimal one zero two. Copy, step two, one decimal one zero two. Now that Cygnus has reached the 200... On two for Cygnus, uh, we do see the Cygnus mode as hold. The command panel LED status is as, uh, as expected. Prior range is showing 251, and block Bravo, we have in both monitors, lights in the corridor, overlay of the vehicle matches the size, uh, lights in the circle, circle is touching center. All right, great report, thanks, Hopper. Those words from NASA astronaut Mike Hopkins as he works with the ground team in preparation for Cygnus capture later this morning. Now that Cygnus has reached that 250 meter hold point, it will complete some checks with the ground before eventually moving to the 200 meter keep out sphere before it continues its journey to the International Space Station for capture. As Cygnus continues to hold at the 250 meter hold point, teams on the ground are beginning a go, no go poll to confirm that Cygnus is ready to proceed with its ascent to the International Space Station and enter the keep out sphere.
Cygnus continuing to hold at the 250 meter hold point, where it's completing some checks with the ground before eventually moving to the 200 meter keep out sphere. Everything still moving on track as we look towards capture later this morning at 3.40 a.m. Central Time, 4.40 a.m. Eastern Time. Station Houston on Space Ground 2, Cygnus and ISS are configured for approach inside the keep-out sphere. Expect approach to resume shortly and stand by for the Cygnus PCS command checkout. And Houston Station copies all standing by. As you just heard, Capcom Neil Nagata relayed to the crew aboard the space station that Cygnus has now been approved to depart the 250 meter hold point and approach the 200 meter keep out sphere. Okay, station Cygnus has resumed approach. You guys go for the Cygnus PCS command checkout, hold arm per step three in one decimal one zero two. Station copy step three, one decimal one zero two in work. We're in a brief expected handover between satellites and will regain communications shortly. Okay. And copy that. You are go for the command checkout disarm for step four and one decimal one zero two. 13 seconds to about a minute and a half outage. Copy that. Uh, step four, one decimal one zero two in work. If you're just tuning in with us this morning, we're providing coverage as a Cygnus cargo resupply vehicle approaches the International Space Station for capture by the Canada Arm 2. Cygnus has completed a series of milestones already th this morning, the last being a hold point at 250 meters away from the station, space station. Next up, we'll look for Cygnus to reach about 30 meters away from the station, station and it will reach another hold point where teams at the Northrop Grumman Mission Operations Center will check systems once more. Following 
doing this, and if everything checks out nominally, Northrop Grumman will give their go, and Cygnus will depart the 30-meter hold point. After departing the 30-meter hold point. All right, we see the same. And uh, so, Opera, that means the Cygnus PCS command checkout was successful. Begin monitoring approach from 250 meters per step five and one decimal one zero two. Houston, copy step five, one decimal one zero two, and work. Now, so be advised, Cygnus is inside the 200 meter keep out sphere. You now have the authority to issue an abort if no comm with MCCH and the light is outside of the corridor. Station copies. And that call from Capcom Neil Nagata up to the crew confirming that Cygnus is now within the keep out sphere around the space station. The next milestone we'll look towards this morning is when Cygnus reaches 30 meters away from the station. It will reach another hold point at this time where teams at the Northrop Grumman Mission Operations Center will check systems once more. Once Northrop Grumman gives their go and Cygnus is departed the 30 meter hold point, it will reach the 10 to 12 meter point from the station, which is today's capture point. At this time, JAXA astronaut Suichi Naguchi will use the Canada Arm 2 to reach out and grapple the spacecraft. Backing him up this morning will be NASA astronaut Mike Hopkins. In preparation for today's capture, you can see a photo of JAXA astronaut Suichi Noguchi here on board station as he prepares and practices for the upcoming arrival of Cygnus later today. JAXA astronaut Suichi Noguchi and NASA astronaut Mike Hopkins are inside the cupola of the space station at the robotics workstation, which you can see here, where they are monitoring the approach of Cygnus this morning. From the cupola, they'll have a great view of Cygnus as it approaches. Noguchi will use the Canada Arm 2 to reach out and grapple the spacecraft once it reaches that 10 to 12 meter hold point. Currently, Cygnus continues to hold as it prepares for its ascent to the International Space Station.
We're now just about 55 minutes from today's capture of Cygnus, which is filled with over four tons of cargo. Everything's still moving on on target as we track a 3.40 a.m. Central Time capture, 4.40 a.m. Eastern Time. Cygnus now approaching 100 meters from the space station. Cygnus now within 100 meters of the space station. For a uh, partial block Bravo uh, inside 100, we do see the light in uh, both monitors. Uh, it's in the corridor, uh, in the circle, and the circle is uh, at the center. It's uh, still a little hard, though, to see the vehicle and compare it to the outline. Okay, copy that, and uh, we're checking down here, and we have no concerns. Yeah, we do have good visual of the vehicle out the uh, out the window. Copy. Those words from NASA astronaut Mike Hopkins as he confirms with the ground that they do have good visuals of the Cygnus spacecraft from the cupola of the International Space Station.
The next milestone we'll look for Cygnus to complete this morning will be once it reaches the 30 meter hold point, where additional system checks will take place before Cygnus moves to the 10 to 12 meter point, at which point the Canada Arm 2 will be used by Suichi Noguchi to capture the spacecraft. Following this, teams on the ground will take over control of Cygnus and will berth the spacecraft to the Unity module of the space station. Cygnus continuing to move closer to the space station as it nears the 30 meter hold point. This view of NASA astronaut Kate Rubens preparing her spacesuit in preparation for a spacewalk that will take place on Sunday. We'll be providing live coverage of that spacewalk as always. Coverage will begin at 5 a.m. Central Time, 6 a.m. Eastern Time. Correction, our coverage will begin at 3.30 a.m. Central Time, 4.30 a.m. Eastern Time. The spacewalk will begin at 5 a.m. Central Time, 6 a.m. Eastern Time. And he 
Houston Station on two for a Block Bravo update. Uh, so both monitor one and three, the light is in the corridor, and what we can tell of the vehicle is matching the outline. On monitor one, the light is, the forward light is in the circle, whereas monitor three, the aft light is in the circle. Monitor one, we show offset about half a diameter starboard, and on monitor three, it's uh, starting to align on the center. Okay, thanks, Hopper. It's a good report. We're now under 10 minutes until Cygnus reaches the 30 meter hold point where additional system checks will take place before Cygnus moves to the 10 to 12 meter point at which time the Canada arm will be used by JAXA astronaut Suichi Noguchi to capture the spacecraft. Following this, teams on the ground will take over control of Cygnus and will berth the spacecraft to the unity module of the space station. Cygnus now under 50 meters away from the International Space Station. Everything continuing to move nominally as we track a 3.40 a.m. Central Time, 4.40 a.m. Eastern Time capture this morning. The next milestone we're looking towards is when Cygnus will reach the 30 meter hold point.
the International Space Station is currently flying 259 statute miles above the Earth as it approaches Honduras. Houston Airlock on Space and Ground 2 for HECA. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, I have EMU TV serial number 1005 retrieved from the staging bag, and 1007 has been removed from the aft EDA 3015. All right, roger that. Thank you. Now under five minutes until Cygnus reaches the 30 meter hold point. Cygnus has now reached the 30 meter hold point. Station Houston on Space to Ground 2 for Cygnus. Confirmed a 30 meter hold and set up for capture for step 6 and 1.102. Area 102. And Houston, station copies. We see the 30 meter hold prior range is 30 meters and working step 6 and 1.102. That call, that call from Capcom Neil Nagata communicating, communicating with the crew as they continue to monitor Cygnus's approach from the workstation in the cupola ahead of the capture today at 3.40 a.m. Central Time, 4.40 a.m. Eastern Time. Cygnus has reached the 30 meter hold point. This is the final hold before Cygnus will make its way to the 10 to 12 meter point, at which point it will be captured by the Canada Arm 2. During this 30 meter hold, teams will run a, a systems check both here in Mission Control Houston and at the Mission Operations Center in Dulles, Virginia. The team is currently working through a go, no, go for the final approach to the International Space Station.
We're in a brief expected handover between our satellites and will regain views and communications shortly. Cygnus continuing to hold at the 30 meter hold point. Once we have the go for Cygnus to depart the 30 meter hold point, the next milestone we'll be looking for is when Cygnus makes its way to the 10 to 12 meter point and will be captured by the Canada Arm 2. As you can see from this view here, the station is approaching a sunrise. Again, the space station does orbit the Earth every 90 minutes, which means the crew members see a sunrise and a sunset every 45 minutes. The space station is currently flying 261 statute miles over the Atlantic Ocean. Cygnus continuing to hold 30 meters away from the space station. This 30 meter hold is the final hold before Cygnus will make its way to the 10 to 12 meter point and will be captured by the Canada Arm 2. 
is now a concession to ground two for uh, HECA. The silicon coating in step 12 all came off in one solid piece, and I captured it. No sweat. Copy that. Thanks. And we'll keep the loops clear for capture. Uh, if, I've got any, if you guys have anything else, just give me a hold on three or four. Okay, copy that. We'll do, Kate. We're now just about 25 minutes away from today's capture of Cygnus by the Canada Arm 2. JAXA astronaut Suichi Noguchi will be controlling the Canada Arm 2 to capture Cygnus. Backing him up will be NASA astronaut Mike Hopkins. Everything still moving nominally as we track a 3.40 a.m. Central Time capture, 4.40 a.m. Eastern Time. Filled with over four tons of crew supplies, science investigations, spacewalking equipment, vehicle hardware, computer resources, and Russian hardware, Cygnus continuing to hold at the 30 meter hold point. This hold is the final hold before Cygnus will make its way to the 10 to 12 meter point and will be captured by the Canada Arm 2. The space station now crossing into an orbital sunrise. Okay, copy that hopper. We're going to go ahead and uh, circle the wagons down here one more time and we'll get your call in just a few minutes.
Okay, Station Houston on Space to Ground 2. Cygnus is ready to proceed to the capture point. Expect approach to resume shortly. Station copies. Those words from Capcom Neil Nagata confirming with the crew that Cygnus has been given the go to proceed to the capture point. And Station Houston, Cygnus has resumed the approach to the capture point. Monitor approach within 30 meters per step seven and 1.102. 1 the crew is primed to issue retreat if primary range is less than six meters. And Houston Station, uh, we copy block seven or step seven, 1.102 1 is in work. And Houston Station on two for uh, Block Bravo. We do see approach mode, prior range is decreasing. We've got light in the corridor, outline matches the vehicle. The, uh, the light is in the circle and the circle is touching the center. And that was both monitors. All right, copy all, thanks, officer. Now flying 263 statute miles above the western coast of Ireland, this view of the International Space Station looking down at Cygnus, which has now passed the 30 meter hold point. Next up, we'll look to Cygnus reaching the 10 to 12 meter point, at which point it will be able to be captured by the Canada Arm 2. As Cygnus moves from the 30 meter point to the 10 to 12 meter capture point, you'll notice that the movements are much slower and deliberate as Cygnus nears the space station to ensure a safe approach. This view from inside the cupola as JAXA astronaut Soichi Noguchi prepares for capturing the Cygnus spacecraft once it reaches the capture point at 10 to 12 meters from the space station. NASA astronaut Mike Hopkins will be backing him up during today's capture.
We're just about 15 minutes away from the capture point of Cygnus this morning. Everything still moving nominally towards a capture at 3.40 a.m. Central Time, 4.40 a.m. Eastern Time. The space station is currently flying 263 statute miles above the southeast coast of Germany, crossing into Austria. And here's the station on two for Cygnus. We see 17 meters prior range and block Bravo is nominal, both monitors. Copy. Cygnus is now less than 20 meters from the station and just a few minutes away from reaching its capture point. Just a few minutes away from reaching the capture point for Cygnus this morning. This view down the latching end effector of the Canada Arm 2, you can see Cygnus approaching the station very slowly and deliberately to ensure a safe capture. Once Cygnus arrives at the capture point, JAXA astronaut Soichi Noguchi will use the Canada Arm to grapple Cygnus. He'll be backed up by NASA astronaut Mike Hopkins this morning. Capture will be confirmed once a series of locks and latches secure Cygnus to the latching end effector of the Canada Arm 2. We just received confirmation that Cygnus has reached its capture point. Teams on the ground will take a final go no go poll for capture.
Station Houston on two, confirm the capture point and hold for step eight and one decimal one zero two. Station copy, step eight, one decimal one zero two, in work. Again, Cygnus has reached its capture point this, mo this morning. Teams on the ground are now taking their final go-no-go -no -go poll for capture. Everything still moving smoothly. For Cygnus, capture conditions are confirmed and crew is ready for Cygnus capture. Okay, thanks, Hover. We're checking a few things down here. Stand by for capture. Station Houston on Space to Ground 2, we are go for the Cygnus capture sequence. Step 4 and 1 decimal 110, Cygnus capture. Begin monitoring the back away cue card. And station copies all. Step 4 of 1 decimal 110 in work. The crew just received the green light from teams on the ground to use the Canada Arm 2 to capture Cygnus. The Canada Arm will move very slowly toward Cygnus and we'll have confirmation of capture once a series of snares have closed.
as the International Space Station flies 261 statute miles over the Persian Gulf, Cygnus is now in free drift. The robotic arm is now in motion as it approaches Cygnus for capture. This view from the latching end effector as Cygnus approaches the space station in preparation for capture in just a few minutes. The Canada Arm 2 is now just one meter away from Cygnus in preparation for capturing it. The arm is now over the pin, alignment looking good. Capture has been initiated. And the snares have closed, and we have confirmation that Cygnus was captured at 3.38 a.m. Central Time while it was flying 261 statute miles over Oman.
And the final latches that connect Cygnus to the Canada Arm 2 have been secured. Capture is now complete. Station Space Ground 2, Cygnus capture is complete. Go for Cygnus post capture reconfiguration. Welcome to ISS, SS Catherine Johnson, who signifies divergence for civilians and resilience to the human space program. Yeah. Copy all station and uh, good words, Suichi, great flying. And Houston, I'd also like to add congratulations to Northrop Grumman, to ESA, to JAXA, to NASA for the successful arrival and capture of the SS Catherine Johnson. Uh, you guys have kept the lifeline to station alive uh, during, uh, despite some very difficult challenges on the ground. And just like uh, Catherine Johnson helped enable human space flight during her time at NASA, uh, her namesake is continuing that today. Well done, everyone. And Hopper, we all appreciate that on behalf of everyone. Thank you very much and uh, great words. Those words from Suichi Noguchi and Mike Hopkins welcoming the SS Katherine Johnson aboard the space station. This morning, Cygnus was captured at 3.38 a.m. Central Time, 4.38 Eastern Time. Following a textbook rendezvous, Cygnus was captured as it was flying 261 statute miles over Oman. Cygnus was captured by JAXA astronaut Soichi Noguchi with NASA astronaut Mike Hopkins backing him up. Following capture by the Canada Arm 2, controls will be handed over to teams on the ground who will use the Canada Arm 2 to reposition Cygnus and bring it to the station's Unity module, where it will be installed later today. Following a great capture today at 3.38 a.m. Central Time, we'll be taking a short break as teams move Cygnus toward the Unity module, but we'll be back on the air to cover berthing and installation. We'll be live at 5 a.m. Central Time, 6 a.m. Eastern Time. Continue submitting your social media questions using the hashtag AskNASA. We'll be answering them upon our return. For now, that concludes our coverage of the capture of Northrop Grumman Cygnus vehicle today, which was successfully captured at 3.38 a.m. Central Time. Join us for berthing coverage at 5 a.m. Central Time. Signing off for now, this is Mission Control Houston.